Hi, I'm Chris Tagg. Welcome to this week's episode of Repair Tag. There was a lot going on this week. I've never been surrounded by so many naked ladies. Uh, con naked ladies, that is. This first naked lady tenor is a 10M. So I have this nice old con uh, 10M. It's been, it's been buffed and re-lacquered, but it's a sweet playing horn. Had to do a little play condition, replace four pads and uh, regulation, and got it back up into good working order. So we got another con. This is not a 10M. This predates it a little bit, but it is still a naked lady. Um, got a bit of a vintage look. This poor thing has had a very hard life. Um, it's been run over at least once and brought back. So I have to correct some of the tone holes. We've got the rolled tone holes that have been compromised, we'll say. Uh, so I have to get things leveled back out and uh, make it solid. And after those, we had a Con 12M. Similar vintage, this is mid-60s. Uh, school horn, unfortunately, so rather abused, but bringing it back to life. This client's C trumpet was in for a mouthpipe replacement. I replaced the old mouthpipe with a custom Blackburn gold-plated mouthpipe. I also have the opportunity to play in a couple of groups. Uh, in Joyous Brass, I have the privilege of sitting next to a client playing this Yamaha Custom Zeno E-flat cornet. I did a bit of valve work and an ultrasonic cleaning to keep things working like they should. I added key clips to Mark Tolga's Selmer Early Balanced Action Alto. This will help keep the pads more stable while it's in the case. Next, I had the opportunity to work on this client's Fox Oboe. This one just needed some regulating to bring it back into good working order. And I was finally able to get back and do some more work on the 1894 Distin B-flat cornet. I was able to iron out the bell damage, as well as a few other dents. Almost done with this repair. Well, that does it for this week's episode. Check in next week for the latest episode of Repair Tag.